every day. Benny comes to work with me. Benny. Hey, brother. This is Benny the dog and his master deputy probation officer, Sean Rex. <laughs> he is specifically trained to find the odor of four specific narcotics, heroin, methamphetamine, marijuana, and cocaine. This is 30 grams of marijuana. I'm going to take it over, put it underneath the vehicle, and have my dog search for the odor. Smell is to dogs what vision is to humans. It's their primary sense in dealing with the world. I don't even need to tell you where the narcotics are. My partner here will show you. Come on. There's no exact numbers, but it's been said dogs can smell a million times better than humans. Soup. It takes Benny less than a minute to find the drugs. We walk into the kitchen and we can smell our mom cooking stew. A dog walks into the same kitchen, he smells the carrots, the peas, the chicken, the potatoes, the gravy. He smells everything about that and separates them. So this is training. Benny's real job for probation is doing fourth waiver searches. Probation fourth waiver search. Uh, the Fourth Amendment states Nobody shall fall victim to unreasonable search and seizure. We got another metal pipe and a syringe. Somebody who's on probation has waived that right as a condition of their probation instead of going to prison. Probation, fourth waiver. And they agree that we or any law enforcement agency can go out and search them without reasonable suspicion, reasonable cause, anything, but to go out there and verify that they're in fact following the conditions of the court. He's assisted us in becoming agents of change. Uh, where we could go out there and maybe not find narcotics in the past. We now have the ability to go in with our canine partners and, you know, find hidden compartments and find places that the average officer might not necessarily know to look. Ooh, that's a good boy. Benny's search is really a sniff for the odors he's been trained to find. In this case, this exactly 10 grams of meth hidden under the hood of a vehicle. The narcotics. I want him to find kilos and kilos and kilos. I want to have the most dope, the most money, everything seized. That's a good boy. In some cases, Sean is hoping Benny won't find any drugs, like when they search Juvenile Hall. Up. Benny scans the corners of the room and goes over the bedding. It's all clear. Uh, but when I come to the institution, it's actually refreshing to see that he's not finding stuff. Because if Benny's not finding drugs, the kids being detained are safer. He's basically saying there's nothing over there. They train <laughs> together, and now they're a team. Benny has the nose for the job, but Sean knows who's in charge. Uh, when people ask me how it is, I kind of tell them it's like having a three-year-old constantly. Always getting into everything. Good boy. You've got to clean up after him. It doesn't listen to you half the time, but you wouldn't trade it for the world. Oh, 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 come on. In the County News Center, I'm Suzanne Bartol. <laughs>